Welcome to the Grace and Staff Spotlight. I am Sandrina Davis, and today we're bringing you a wonderful story of one of our Grace and Staff scholars. His name is Matthew Clark. And while we know a lot about him, we're going to allow him to tell his story with me today. Matthew, welcome. Thank you very much, Miss Davis. How nice are you? you again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm doing well. You're doing well. Yes, no, yes. I mean, you, you know of Grace and Staff. Grace and Staff knows of you. But this conversation is really to share with the wider Grace family, um, you know, just your wonderful story of hard work, of dedication, and where it has taken yes. you so far. And obviously, mm -hmm. how Grace and Staff has played a role in this process. So tell us a little bit about yourself, your early days, your upbringing. <laughs> All right, no problem. Um, well, I'm just a person who believes that uh, you should live a life of principle. Uh, I believe that everything you do, um, you should have some, some form of moral guideline that you adhere to. Uh, I love to laugh. I enjoy you know, going out with friends. I have a strong Christian faith, so I'm very involved in my church. You know, I play the drums. I'm on the youth board. I do a lot of things. So overall, I'm just, um, just, a, just a guy with big dreams. Awesome. Yes. One of the things that would have brought you to us or us to you was, you know, would have been your educational journey. And yes, so, yes. I mean, for Grace and Staff, we really do start working with scholars at the high school level. So, what high school? Well, I'm, I'm in my last year of Campion College. So okay, wonderful. Yes, wonderful school. Big up to Campion all the way. <laughs> Big up to Campion, he says. <laughs> and you would have joined our family in grade 7. Yes, yes. How did that connection come about? Uh, well, I was fortunate enough to... Uh, well, through a third party, I was introduced to Mrs. Peters Mullins, who, you know, has been, who, who has played a, an instrumental role in helping me to, you know, get to this place where I am right now. Uh, she was the one who, you know, saw my potential. She made it known that, you know, Matthew is capable of doing great things. And though I did not realize that at the time, I'm very, you know, fortunate to have you know, encountered her at the time. And she put me on in the program. I was, you know, happy at the time. I was working. Um, you know, I, I learned so much. So, yes, definitely. Yeah, Mrs. Peters Mullings is, she, she's the center of this journey. That Well, for those who may be watching and wondering how you get onto this thing, did you have to write up an application form? What was that process like for us to welcome you into the Grace and Staff fold? Uh, yes, uh, I, I did have to fill out just a very small application. Um, you will get, you, you, you usually have to speak with like a Grace and Staff representative and you know, they'll just do like a quick interview with you, get, get to know, you know, where your head is at, you know, what your, your aims and goals in life are. And one thing I love about um, the Grace and Staff community, um, no one feels left out. There's a space for everyone. So I, 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 I was very comfortable um, in you know, sharing my dreams and aspirations with Mrs. Peters Mullings, who, as I said, she was the one who introduced me. And she encouraged me all the way. And that fuel that she gave me, which came in the form of, you know, verbal um, motivation. And sometimes she even play a mother role. Because sometimes I'd give her a little trouble and she's like, Matty, don't let me have to come over there for you. So all of those little things just came together. And I, I, I'm just really fortunate to have, you know, been a part of this community. Well, I know for a fact that for Grace and Staff Scholars, obviously we look at need, but we also look at potential. And you seem to be a wonderful package of both. Tell us a little bit about your, your family, your background. Uh, well, I, I have four siblings. Um, I have one sister. So, Aww. yes, she, she's just phenomenal. Um, she encouraged me to you know, stay on the program and stuff. So, yes, um, I grew with my mother. I'm from a single family. Uh, you know, my mother works very hard to provide for all of us. Uh, you know, as young men, she teaches us that, you know, it's important to, you know, respect women, to, you know, love God and to put God first in everything that you do. Uh, you know, I have my brothers, they try to take, take after me. So I kind of have to, you know, set the example because I, she, 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 she trusted me to pass down, you know, the teachings and wisdom that she gave me onto them. So uh, it's, it's, it's been a journey. It hasn't been easy, but um, I'm just fortunate enough to have found such a wonderful mother who decided that, you know, she would stick by her side right through regardless. So, 
I, I'm just very grateful for her, to be honest. What are some of the challenges that you'd have encountered on this journey? I mean, grade seven, you said you were in your final year campion. So, I mean, this is about five or so years. What are some of the challenges you'd have encountered, whether personally or in your family or otherwise? Uh, okay, so I'll give a personal one and then I'll um, refer to my family situation as well. Um, I always struggled with, you know, self-confidence. I, I, I once had a low self-esteem and, you know, the, the leadership training that the Grace and Staff Development community provided me really allowed me to grow exponentially. Mm -hmm. And that was something that I will always, you know, be thankful for because uh, I worked with um, many tutors who came on board, other children, and I was just taught that anything is possible once you put your mind to it and never to live in, live in the dark. Always try to, you know, be in the spotlight. And, you know, you can do that without being arrogant as well. Yes. And um, we used to run jokes how, you know, as long, once you go on Harbor Street, the Grace Kennedy sign just stands out in your that's face. Right. So that is how they would encourage us to stand out. Let everyone see you be, you know, that person of good reputation, just as how, you know, Grace has that splendid reputation that it does, not just locally, but internationally. So Grace Kennedy really helped me um, into, you know, developing my leadership skills, uh, my public speaking skills, and all, and all those other essential skills that are needed to, you know, become a successful person. Nice. Uh, in regards to my family, uh, COVID, COVID really, um, you know, put me on a, on a stretch, mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest. And, um, you know, when the, pan when the pandemic, you know, hit the country, as we know, the economy almost collapsed and so did my, my, my mother's business. So what happened was that she had to be, you know, finding other streams of income and, you know, just, it, was, it, was, it wasn't easy for her because, you know, she's tapping into, you know, markets that she has never really been introduced to before. And, um, you know, prior to that, she was in like food and nutrition and because of the pandemic, now she's, she's operating a restaurant. So, you know, the, the pandemic really, um, uh, it really showed me the importance of, you know, appreciating my mother even more. And it also showed me that, listen, Matthew, you, you really need to work hard mm -hmm. because, you know, your mom shouldn't be working that hard. You know what I mean? You I should be the one to be providing for her. And that, that is one of my aims in life. But I, I was very, as I said before, I, I, I cannot express how fortunate I was. You know, Grace Kennedy de de decided to step in, you know, Al although they have been, um, you know, paying my... Um, uh, a rather handsome portion of my tuition fees over the years, I was particularly grateful uh, because, you know, many schools are expressing that, you know, the pandemic has caused like, you know, low payments of tuition and so on. So I was really happy. Yeah, I, I was always grateful, but I was just amazed when Grace Kennedy said, you know what, regardless of the pandemic, we're going to step in, Matthew, we're going to help you, let me know what you need, you know as I said, you know, I, I can't stop mentioning Mrs. Peters Mullings. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I met you as well, who gave me some good encouragement. So I, during 2020, you know, into 2021, um, Grace Kennedy has really helped me to you know, keep my head above water. I love that. So, yes. Permit me to pause to say, Mrs. Peters Mullings, if you name call one more time, <laughs> Matthew's grateful and we're happy to have you on our team. Matthew, you we went to see SEC. Right. Yes. Just for uh, you have to list the subjects. You don't have to tell us all the grades because we know it would be amazing because you've been <laughs> yes, such yes. an outstanding student. But what were the courses that you did in CSEC? Um, I, I did. I, I'm a science guy. So I did all three sciences, biology, physics, chemistry, um, IT, additional mathematics, um, general mathematics, English language, English literature, Spanish. So um, did I say information technology? No, you didn't. Well, <laughs> yes. That, that, so, yes, those are the nine. that I, I Nine took. CSEC. Yes. And you did some K? Uh, yes, um, I decided to continue um, along the science path. So I'm doing biology, physics, chemistry, pure math. And, you know, you have compulsory courses such as com communication studies, Caribbean studies that everyone has to, you know, take up. But yes, so I'm definitely leaning more onto the STEM side. 
Yeah, I anticipate what those grades are going to be anyway, so I'm not even worried yes, based on your, your track record um, <laughs> yes. for CSEC. So with the nine CSEC subjects, and I know people are watching and thinking, how much do I have? Carry the one, <laughs> right? Um, not as much as you, but with the nine CSEC and your CAPE subjects, your next step would have been to look at your options for university. Def that was, I'm that sure. Was, that was, Tell us a little yes. bit about that process, you know, what kind of advice you got, where did that guide you? Uh, so... It, it really amazes me and, and as I said, you know, I hold a strong Christian faith. I, I don't believe that things happen because of coincidence. I just think that God just put, put the right people in your life at the right time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Mr. Sweeney. Yes. Um, you know, I've, I've, you know he, he, he was always a part of the Grace and Staff family. But um, when I was very young, in about grade 8 or grade 9, you know, he introduced me to the SAT exam. Um, and... Prior to that, I had no knowledge about it. I didn't know what the process was to, what, what, the, what the process of, you know, matriculating into university abroad was like. Right. Because I, in the back of my mind, I was like programmed to say, okay, high school, I graduate, go to UWE, and, you know, with God's help, I'll graduate as a, as, a, as a medical practitioner or whatever. But just learning about the exam really opened up my scope of opportunities. So... I, you know, did my research. I started becoming familiar with it. Uh, God worked it out where I was able to become a part of a wonderful family who, you know, helped me to prepare for the exam. And um, glory be to God, I, I did very well. Um, I sent out many applications. Uh, I got rejected by, by many. I am honest. shocked. Yes, I, I got rejected by many. Like, uh, like... And, and, and that's another thing as well, dealing with rejection. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when I contacted um, Mrs. Peters Woolley <laughs> about it, um, you know, she, she just said, you know, Matthew, stay strong. Um, you know, it, things will come through. So I was getting rejected, 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 rejected. But the one school that decided that, you know, Matthew, we're going to take it in, which is Barry University, they decided to give me a full ride scholarship. I feel like I need to say the Barry University, the Barry University at University. this point. Yes. They gave me a full ride scholarship where they pay for my tuition and board, my travel expenses, uh, my medical insurance. Uh, they give me the opportunity to do a, a travel abroad experience whenever I want. Um, I get a six thousand dollar stipend uh, every <coughs> year, and and <laughs> you know God, they they they've really you know given all I could ever ask for because I've always wanted to develop you know as a leader mm -hmm. and. They've not just given me the chance to become better at my academics, but the STAMPS program, which is the organization that controls the scholarship, really focuses primarily on leadership. So I'll be doing a lot of you know, leadership development courses as I go along. So I, I, I have just been you know, really um, blessed to you know, reach this far. Yeah, you can imagine our excitement when yeah. we heard, right? <laughs> yes, yes, um, definitely. We all felt like we traveled this journey with yes. you and that we also did the SATs. Yes. What was the score, by the way? Um, well, to be honest, I got a 1260. Mm -hmm. um, and I was supposed to redo the exam. But uh, what had happened was, um, you know, some, some unforeseen circumstances occurred in the family. And I was supposed to re-register mm -hmm. to do the SAT because I was like, okay, Matthew, you need at least a 1450. So um, I, I was supposed to re-register, but, you know, me being... Um, who I am, I, I got so caught up in doing other stuff. I was like, okay, let's register now. Boom. When I register, when I decided to, you know, register for the exam, all the spaces were booked. I'm like, God, what am I going to do? Because I was saying, you know, 1260 is not enough. But um, I was working with a college counselor and she made it known that, listen, Matthew, uh, we, have, we still have to try with the 1260. Mm -hmm. And luckily... Uh, my school grades and my participation in like you know outside organizations really helped to give the 1260 more substance. Mm -hmm. So, um, I, 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 I've, as I said, I've just been really blessed because um, there were other applicants with you know more impressive applications, and God just worked it out where I just received the scholarship. So, so you would have applied. Yes. What, what was the process after? Were there interviews? How many people do you think you? You moved um, past to get to get this full ride scholarship. Yeah, so um, I believe there were, um, well, in total for all the students who applied to the school, there were six thousand plus applicants. Hmm. Only three thousand plus got accepted, and then now uh, 
I believe, almost 800 applied specifically for the scholarship. And then now I had three rounds of interviews that I had to pass. And then now they just chose um, the top five out of that 800. And here I am today, I'm one of the five. Five out of 6,000, dare wow, I but, say. Congratulations. Yes. That's absolutely amazing. Thank and you very um, much. we are super proud of you, as you know. Um, and I know that you you say, you know, you don't think you'd have been able to come this far without the support of Grace and yes, staff. You I mentioned would, Dr. Sweeney, have. Mrs. Peters Mullings. Um, and, and, and I'm sure you already are aware of this, but... And, and you as well, Miss <laughs> Davis, you can't leave out yourself. Not at all. There are, there, are, there are staff members within the Grace Kennedy Group that contribute mm -hmm. on a monthly basis to Grace and Staff Community Development oh, Foundation oh. so that we can do what we what do, you know, for students like yourself. Yeah. Um, yeah, what I'm would you grateful. say to those persons who, who have contributed in, in, indirectly, but maybe more directly than anything else, to how we've been able to support you? Uh, thank you very much. Um, I, I, I sometimes don't believe that you know many people understand how 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 far you know such a kind donation would go because you know here I am today simply because you know people who I have not even met yeah. have decided that okay we're going to pool funds together to facilitate a, you know a greater good or you know let, let, let's help to be pioneers of a greater cause I would definitely I, I am definitely in in indebted to everyone I, I I am so grateful, to be honest, and I would definitely encourage you guys, um, you know, keep doing the good work, and very soon, I will be someone to, who will contribute. Um, it is one of my aims, it's one of my aims in life, and, mm -hmm. and I know, you know, if God bring me this far, he will help me to, you know, realize that dream as well. So, um, your, your, your kind donations have not been wasted. Um, I am just one of many. Yes. So, um, Definitely, I just want to extend, you know, gratitude and, you know, God's blessings and everyone who has really decided to come together to, you know, make students such as myself um, get the opportunity to really achieve on a higher level. We're very, very proud of you, Matthew. You and I talked before we started this, you know, conversation and you were yes, saying yes. that you had a glimpse of the, the 2030 vision for the group and you thought it was yes, ambitious and exciting. Definitely. Um, at Grace and Staff, we currently support just at over a thousand students. Um, oh, I'm wow. giving you the task of giving us that ambition goal. What kind of numbers would you want to hear in a couple of years that Grace and Staff has continued to support X amount of secondary and tertiary students? Okay. And the number that you pick is what the team and I will continue to, to go for with the support of the staff members okay. of Grace Kennedy. Okay, so after reviewing the 2030 vision, mm -hmm. um, I realized that um, the, the, that, you, that Grace Kennedy really decided that, okay, they're going to pool, you know, most of their revenue from international markets, about, I believe about 70%. Um, if I'm right, I may be wrong. But uh, I believe that right now, you said you're supporting 1,000. Mm -hmm. I believe that by 2030, you'll be supporting um, 5,000 or more. Uh, I, I, I believe it's possible because um, when, I, when I look at where the company is now and you know, where it's coming from, and then uh, when I look at how, um, how ambitious the company is, um, I, I put no limitations on Grace Kennedy. Like, um, I have to say, you know, good job well done to Mr. Webby as well. I mean, he's just phenomenal. I've, yeah, I've met him, as I told you before, and he gave me good advice. He said, Matthew, listen, this is what you want, go for it. Mm -hmm. And I know that whatever, you know, framework he has put, um, put in place for the company to grow, I know that with that mentality, it has to, you know, become a reality. It has, it has to materialize. So I, I, I believe that by, by 2030, you'll be supporting over 5,000 children. Well, Matthew Clark, it has been such a joy talking with you in Thank our you, Grace and Staff Spotlight. Started at grade 7 from Campion, one of the Grace and Staff Community yes. Development Foundation scholars. On his way out of Campion and all the way to Barry University, what was it? The, the Barry University, University on a full ride scholarship. He's grateful for the support and the donations of the Grace Kennedy family. And um, he is putting out there 
that we're moving from our just over a thousand to <laughs> five thousand by 2030 and with your yes. support we definitely can make that happen so yes. um, please continue to support the foundation as we support students with great potential and promise like matthew matthew we are extremely proud Thank of you, you. Very much and David. please uh, stay in touch tell us I what definitely. you're doing over I, there I in foreign and um, we look forward to you know utilizing your voice to encourage our other students and also you know when you are completing your studies and you make the trek back to Jamaica, we should be a part of the welcoming party. <laughs> yes, yes. God bless you. You said you're a man okay. of faith. Yes, so you know yes, I, have to I have to pray for you, you well. before we go out. Lord, yes, we thank yes. you so much for Matthew's life. Thank you for the blessing that he has been to his family and to us at Grace and Staff and Grace Candy by extension. May you be with thank him you. on this next leg of his journey and continue to provide for him. He's truly thank special you. and we're grateful to have been a part of his journey. All these and other mercies we ask in Jesus' name. Amen, amen and Thank amen. You, Thank Bye -bye. you. <laughs> NASA. Right.